Så i Mass Effect 2 ser man egentligen på andra sidan galaxen. Det är därför man inte träffas och man gör inte så himla mycket som man gjorde på samma ställen som i ettan faktiskt. Lite synd, men också rätt, rätt coolt att få nya ställen att åka till. Vi, vi åker nog faktiskt och hämtar ett konvikt. Först. Så det är, det är ett fängelse helt enkelt. Jag vill ha med mig Seid. Alltså att ha Overload och Warp är ganska viktigt faktiskt. Eller ja, det hjälper väldigt ofta. Vi ser. Nej. Jag har inte fått sånt med sig fullt än. Hon har ingenting att lägga till. Oj. Concussive Shot är en väldigt bra grej. Om man har tagit bort sköldar och allting ifrån eh, fienden så ja, den trycker tillbaka, den smäller tillbaka fienden helt enkelt så du kan koncentrera dig på någon annan. Disruptor Arm Ammo är bra mot sköldar och robotar. Concussive Shot så. Ni kommer märka att jag kommer att använda Concussive Shot ganska mycket faktiskt. Jag gillar den. Jag ska nog ta en liten snabb paus här. Så, nu är jag tillbaka igen. Då kör vi. Welcome to the purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiro and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fund's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to outprocessing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Cell block two. As you can see, We keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. 
You're not hiring the right ones. Eventually I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Anyone ever tried to escape? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Our processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. No one walks away from torture unchanged. Not the subject, not the torturer himself. Never found torture worth the price of his own. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions? I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. Hey guys, over here. Let me ask you something. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's gotta be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. The warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Do they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. I should go. Wish I could go. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice, yeah. 